couple uh, housekeeping items. First, I'm Jamie Shepard. I'm so excited to see this room um, full of amazing people. But we have a bathroom, so through the lobby, or if you hang the left out of the doors, you'll see it on the far right as you walk towards the front parking lot. Um, just go to the bathroom that's needed. We're not going to really take, we don't have a lot of time, so we're not going to take many bathroom breaks. Um, if you take pictures, which I hope you take a lot, use the hashtag San Diego Super Saturday, please. Um, if you happen to help yourself to the H&R Block coffee, make sure you get your taxes done with them this year. <laughs> They will appreciate that. Um, and we've got water in the back, and I think that was anything for housekeeping. Don't turn your phones off, because we're going to be taking some selfies. Um, at the very end, when we're getting ready to work out, um, you're going to have to grab up your own chairs. You guys ready? All right, and then we're going to push them off to the side, maybe like stacks of five to ten. And that way, we'll have the space to work out. All right. Cool. And I think that's it. So let's okay. All right. So we're super, super excited on behalf of San Diego Market Council. I'm Lindsay Nix, and um, this room being filled is kind of just the dream of ours. And we are so excited that you guys are all here. <gasps> Nervous. Okay. Um, <laughs> So um, we just kind of want to know how many of you are here, you are a coach, but this is your very first Super Saturday. Raise your hand. That's awesome. Nice. How many of you have not taken the plunge yet, but you're thinking about coaching? Very nice. Welcome. We are going to have a lot of fun. Um, just soak it all in today. There's going to be some really, really inspiring stories. Um, you're going to hear from the Elite panel um, just what it means to be a dynamic coach, what it means to inspire people with your journey. Part of that is sharing your adventure. And I am kind of known as the selfie girl. You can find me on Instagram, Mommy Wonderland. And today we want you taking lots of selfies because it's about sharing your story and showing the world how much fun beach body coaches have. So. I'm going to have you take out your phones. We're going to take a selfie, but first, Mike. <laughs> okay, now you can take out your phones, take a selfie. Maybe your friend you don't know, you're just meeting up for the first time. We're getting to know each other. We're going to have a lot of fun today, so. Um, 
true to who I am as a person. And it wasn't until I saw Amy Silverman who ended at number three this year. So, um, who's a, you know, great, she's amazing. Um, you know, but a granola girl, I call her a hot mess, because she, like, she just, she is who she is. And I, it opened my mind just hearing her amazing story, starting from waiting tables, and I was like, that's me. Like, there's room for me in this business, too, as long as I am me. But it took coming to Super Saturday and hearing all of these other stories and realizing that there's not just one path for this job. There is, it's your path. And it's what you make of your path. And, um, and just going for it with gusto and with heart and with vision and with just a passion and, and a hard work ethic and just being you. So that's what, to, and it changed my business from, from then forward and it's just been amazingly blessed ever since. So I hope that, my hope for all of you is that you take the energy from everybody around you and the stories all around you and let them inspire you and, and light a, a fire in your soul too. So. this whole thing came about in August thanks to our lovely West Regional Manager of Beachbody, Kayshawn Graves, who will, who is from corporate, so it's very exciting that it's not usual to have a corporate member at your Super Saturday, so this is very special. Plus we have so many leads that popped up this year in San Diego, so this is really awesome and I'm so happy you're all here. Um, but she got us all together to get the leaders together and we just want to have her come on up and get you going. Super Saturday. Are you guys on? Well, first of all, I just want to make sure I take a look at all of our guests. Can you just raise your hand really quick again? Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions about anything today, make sure you ask the person who brought you or you ask any one of these three ladies up here who are our main members of the Market Council. And then can we please have everyone else involved with the Market Council just stand up so we can recognize you in a big way? Stand up, stand up. Hey, guys. These are the people who make it happen. They sit together, they plan, they meet. All, everything that you see is their effort. This is not a corporate thing. So thank you so much for all your hard work and dedication. And just so you guys know what a market council is, it's a group of individuals, coaches, from different teams who have the purpose to uh, help new coaches with training, have the purpose of expanding the vision of Beachbody to someone who may not know about Beachbody if you've been living under a rock. But they are amazing and they have some great things in store. Um, Habitat for Humanity, community service events, they're going to be doing different trainings on a monthly basis. So make sure you plug into their Facebook group and if you, again, if you have any questions, these are the ladies that you'll want to ask. So I'm so excited, we're in for a treat. Make sure you take some good notes, get your tissues ready. We have some truly inspiring stories today and I look forward to talking to you guys, guys all at the end. But before we do some recognition, we do have a few really special people in the room. We have some Beachbody founding coaches, Kevin and Judy Finneran. And Monica Ward. Thank you guys for pioneering this. If you are a guest, just go ahead and stand up because we want to recognize you for taking your time. All of our elite coaches, please stand up. of the beginnings of a team. It's really exciting. Do we have any Ruby coaches? Yeah. Ruby takes on a form of leadership. You've not only added multiple coaches to your team, but you're also showing them how to add coaches to your organization. So it's a really exciting and very close to diamonds. Do we have any diamonds in our room? Diamonds are 
definitely taking on a leadership. You have grown at least eight coaches into your organization. You've taught two minimum coaches how to add coaches to your organization. It's really, really an exciting thing to celebrate. Do we have any star diamonds? One star to 15 stars. diamonds on your coach and that's diamond coaches on your team so that's that's it for recognition success starters oh yeah success starters success starters do we have any success starters in the room Psychology fitness program supporting them right out the gate. First month you get an exclusive call with Carl Dekler after three months in a row. You're in your free ticket to Summit, which is in Nashville this year in July. It's our big annual party. Well, it's really like a convention. <laughs> <laughs> what about our premier coaches? <laughs> Do we have any Beach Body Challenge winners in the building? Whether you were able to pay off all your debt, to leave your day job, so you guys can stand up. Does <laughs> anybody want any fun prize promos from uh, Beachbody, like the Holiday Hundred, or maybe the Safe Santa? <laughs> You gotta, you gotta help me out. <laughs> you gotta help me out. Um, I went to high school with her, so um, I was a discount coach for about a year. But uh, currently, I've, I've only been working the business. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't tell I'm sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I've only been working the business right at a year. Um, but you know, we all have a story, so I wanted to briefly tell you a little bit about me and uh, where I came from and how that's helped me become the person and coach that I am today. Um, I came from a broken home like a lot of us, I'm sure a lot of us have. Um, I went back and forth between parents throughout the years. Uh, my parents were, um, you know, alcoholics. They were on drugs. Uh, I can remember sitting on my father's lap uh, and passing a roach around and being offered a beer. Uh, for something to drink. So that's just a little bit of uh, the type of lifestyle I kind of grew up in. Um, I was on my own since I've been 15, 15 years old, and um, I worked two jobs and went to high school and graduated. Um, I was actually uh, living with my boyfriend <laughs> and his family in the basement, but <laughs> I'm not with him anymore. <laughs> I was doing this laundry and I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of here. So I did. <laughs> so I did. So, uh, so at 17, I became um, a roommate with uh, my now husband's sister. And um, I've been married for 11 years now. Uh, I have two kids. They're actually over there. Lily's nine and Maddox is seven. Um, so, um, 
because of the type of lifestyle I grew up in, I knew I wanted to create something better than what I had, you know, uh, for my kids. So my big dream was to be a mom and have kids and be available. So one of the conditions when I got married to my husband was I have to be a stay-at-home mom. There's, you know, whatever it takes. And that's what we did. Through, and also, I'm a military, military spouse as well. My husband is uh, an officer in the Marine Corps. contributing that independent person that I was before I was married uh, taking care of myself and things I just wanted to contribute and um, I had a couple of job interviews last year last fall and I nobody you know I'm like hey I gotta get off my kids get off the bus at 3 30 I, I, I have to be home by then I, I can come at 7 but you know, I you know that's really cutting it close. So seven thirty would be better. <laughs> so obviously, I got a lot of laughs because uh, I found out real quick nobody's going to work around my schedule. So I was a discount coach because I started in a challenge group. I had products that helped me lose over twenty pounds, and I was like watching my friends from high school creating some financial freedom, getting fit, and it's been laying in my lap for a year. So last January, I decided to take it serious, treat it as a business, and I'm a, currently a one-star diamond coach, um, and I am a um, Success Club 5 All-Star. And um, so that's where it started. It started just, you know, reaching out to someone, wanting to change that for myself. And I also, this month, because of Beachbody, it has helped us create more financial type of goals. And uh, we started the Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. If you've never done that, it's amazing. And uh, we're currently a debt-free family as of this month. body and the income that it's been able to uh, help with our family I've been able to you know pay off some of those debts so um, yeah that's me that's, <laughs> that's it so thank you Jamie uh, and uh, the council for allowing me to come up here and give you a little bit of brief about my story so all right <laughs> Yeah. And so 
I love that picture. Um, and as you can see, I'm really nervous, so bear with me. But you know, from a young age, I always knew that I had this dream or prayer to do something with my life on a vast scale. I wanted the Lord to use me. And I remember um, looking up at the ceiling and thinking, just use me because I know that your vision is greater for my, for my life than I have. And so that prayer has led me to each body. Um, my story is a lot like many of you in here. I also come from a very broken family, a single mother home, and I decided to go in the military at 18. So I did six years in the military and got out of the military, and then I went to cosmetology school, and I worked as a hairstylist for a little while, and then I met Connie. Um, I met her because, same reason, I was looking at myself, and I was like, you know what, I'm so unmotivated. I don't have the energy to keep up with my family, and so I wanted to make a change. So I reached out to Connie, and she said, here's what we're gonna do, in her little cute country accent. <laughs> she said, you're gonna be a coach. And I was like, what is that? She was like, you're gonna be a coach, you're gonna work on yourself, and then maybe you'll inspire someone else. So that's what I decided to do. I started with the 21 Day Fix, and two weeks in it, into it, I was like, oh, I love this. And then already at two weeks, I was thinking, ooh, maybe I can just quit my job and do this. And we'll do <laughs> right? So um, that's exactly what I did, y'all. It was scary, but I took this big leap of faith, and I cannot tell you the opportunities that I have had with Beachbody are beyond my imagination. I've been a coach for seven months. Um, I'm a, a diamond coach. I've had the opportunity to be in the uh, 21 Day Fix Extreme Test Group, and then I also just did a live taping with Autumn on QVC. So, right? yeah. so, my message to you would be, do not let the fear of rejection stop your momentum of your business. Um, I just, from the very get-go, decided I was going to be bold, and I was going to take these opportunities and run with them. And that's what I've done, and it's doable for every single person in here. As long as you're speaking life into yourself and into your coaches, then you're going to go far, and they are going to go far. And um, I'm just very thankful for this opportunity to be here and to speak in front of you. And I hope that you guys find inspiration from the people up here telling their stories to really just go at it 100%. So as you're applauding the people that are up here giving their stories, just remember to be that fearless person so that um, you know, people are looking to you for inspiration as well. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your great story. It was really beautiful. Thank you. Um, so one of our speakers was not able to be here, so I'm just wondering if there is one more person. We have just a couple more minutes. Oh, poor Sam. Um, come on up. Christy's going to share a couple minutes, two minutes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy. Um, I'm a diamond coach. I started almost two months ago. And um, so, um, I, I have a situation a little bit different. I'm a one-year cancer survivor, and um, I got into this business um, because I needed to save my life. And I was... Um, buying superfoods, importing, making, like, things that tasted nasty because I refused to do chemo, I refused to do everything, and um, my doctor saw that I was struggling financially. It was almost 700 bucks a month to get all these ingredients, and she said, look, there's something out there, but I can't, conflict of interest, but you, you know, she gave me the name. So I wrote it down, and I was like, gonna do it, and I've been approached by so many people, over the years, and I, I said, oh no, no, that, you know, I don't know what that is, it's probably some soy thing, or, um, <laughs> so I actually looked it up, and it blew my mind, and for Jamie, so, um, if, if anyone tells you it's not affordable, just try to remember my story, because it, it, it saves lives. Great, great, great announcement. And I don't know if you're team leaders. 
have broken silence, but Carl announced some really amazing things, and it is in our video ahead, so um, we're really excited to present to you some really fabulous news. That was a little emotional. It's true. Um, anyway, so she was, no. Uh, so we're going to get this table moved over, but um, we have a SoCal coaches group. Um, raise your hand if you're in that group. Okay, so most of you guys aren't. In the event page on Facebook, we'll post the link to that SoCal coaches group. And we will make sure we're, um, our kind of commitment as the market council is we're going to be making sure you guys have, whether regardless of who your outline is, you have a constant feed of information. So remember to sign up for that cruise. Those slots are going to go on a waiting list immediately. So even if you're not totally sure if you can go, get your spot. You can always like give it off later. Um, but get that spot on the cruise for next year. Um, but I think what, for me, what Katie's story inspired me because for the biggest blessing for this job for me has been the relationships that are formed and like all the new friends that are in this room. These, you know, lifelong friends that I would never have met had I not, you know, moving down here in August and didn't knowing any, not knowing anybody in San Diego. And I've got these amazing friendships, my team. You know, this is a, the, my heart is full every day because of the relationships that I formed um, and on so many different levels and it's such a big blessing. And so for me, it's, opens up a lot of emotion there, but um, we uh, also have, on, on that spirit, we wanted to continue to build those relationships with one another in the area, and we'll be having monthly trainings. Um, we'll be going to be sharing information about that in the SoCal Coaches Group, um, and we want you guys to help generate the topics that you're wanting training on. We have got so many great resources from the Premier League coaches to founding coaches, to um, coaches that have been around for a really long time in this business have so much knowledge to share, and um, we want to do a different training topic every month, and we'll invite everybody to come to those. We have coach nights out where we just go to dinner, or just kind of, it's just nice to collaborate. I know some of you guys in the room are playing fit clubs you've talked about and posted about, so we want to make sure that we're all just connected, and, and really, there's just such a great, amazing area of the country, and so much energy towards health and fitness. So we want to just bring it to life and bring us all together. We all have a common heart, common goal, common mission, and um, it's not a one for all kind of thing. We're you know all together for this. So um, with that, on the 27th of January, uh, we're doing our third Habitat for Humanity build. And Habitat for Humanity is a nonprofit organization, if you've never heard of it. They um, help low-income families fund their uh, be able to buy their own home. And part of that process is they help build their own home, but it's based off of um, volunteers coming and, and building weekly, daily on these home projects. And so uh, we've done two Beach Body Give Back Habitat for Humanity Days, one in October and one in November. And um, we have 50, only 15 slots. I think we have about eight left. Um, but Phil over there has got the registration link. Um, to, if you could sign up today, you can save your spot, but it's from 8.15 to 3 o'clock-ish in Escondido. Um, the last time we had a group, um, we were doing, uh, Christy and I were doing roofing, and Claire, where are you Claire? Claire's doing, wind. she put in some windows. Uh, <laughs> we did sheet rocking. Shirley and I, the first time, scraped putty off of windows all day. Anyway, there's projects for everyone. You don't need to bring tools. You can invite, invite friends. They don't have to be coaches. Um, the link is in the SoCal Coaches group, um, and it's just a really fun day to connect and give back and make new friends and just know you're doing something good for other people. And we do that every day, but it's just nice to continue to pay it forward. So we're looking, really looking forward to that. Um, okay. Um, we have some surprises. So reach over your chair really fast and see if you've got a piece of paper tape under there. Some of you guys will. It says, it should say winner. Um, <laughs> we're all winners in here, just so you know. <laughs> but if you got one, um, he should brought some great swag. <laughs> Not the tag of the chair. There should be a part that says winner. Um, you can come on up here and get uh, Thank you.
here graduating with over 30 miles. Or, or a trip. So thank you first of all for coming. That's a big draw. What about over uh, 50 miles? If, you, if, it, if, you, if it was less than 50 miles, sit down. Over 100 miles? Over, over 120 miles? I don't know. How far is LA from here? Sit down. Wow. 250? Alright, where did you drive, come from? Whoa, what about you? to 
share what they were going through and, and just help somebody out. I just started asking people, and I wasn't, my husband told me, please do not talk to anybody we know. Um, <laughs> and, and so I didn't, and I did have a lot of, um, you know, hesitation coming from my friends, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're showing your stomach on social media. <laughs> and I was a pastor's wife, um, 12 years, and so I had some of our youth kids following, and you know, it was so much more than showing a flex muscle. It was a story that happened because I was a mom that was stuck in her body, and I found something that was legit, and I just wanted to tell everybody about it. And so my passion came to growing people because I realized I couldn't do it alone. So sell, like selling something, don't worry about that. If that's something that you're freaking out, if you are brand new to coaching, it's not about selling anything. It's about sharing your story. And so if I can tell you any piece of advice, um, I grew my team. I was two star diamond six months into my business. And in my second biz, a second um, year of, of coaching, um, I hit five star diamond elite coach last year, which was a massive team effort. Um, so please don't be discouraged if it's taking you longer to get your business off the ground, but be encouraged that I'm just a normal teacher that just found a massive passion to help people. You will be so successful if you just share your story. And it's not about a sale. And you will be more successful the more authentic you are in sharing your story and realizing these are just people and they need you and they need our help. go as fast or as slow as you want to go in building this business, but just be willing to share. Thank you. So our next question comes from Rosa. And Monica, I'm going to pass this over to you. Uh, the question is, what budget do you need to have to build a successful business? Hi, everyone. I'm Monica Ward. Um, I'm a 14-star diamond coach. I'm actually a founding coach. Um, so Carl Deichler uh, sent me an email and prospected me. My story goes back to 2003, so I was a mom like everybody. Uh, I was up nursing my son in the middle of the night trying to not disturb my husband who had to carry on in the real world while I was doing the baby sleep hours. I was also a teacher on maternity leave. And uh, I saw these people like frolicking on the beaches of Hawaii, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so happy and healthy. I kind of sat up. and. Uh, as soon as the baby fell asleep, I went downstairs and ordered this product on the internet, which I promptly like made fun of myself for like months. Um, that this beach body, I was gonna have this beach body the next time people saw me. <laughs> well, the funniest part is that you know I'm married to the get it done guy, so as soon as the product came, the plastic came off, and we popped in the VHS tapes <laughs> and busted out 90 days of Power 90, and it was really fun because uh, every day it was like the light at the end of the tunnel was getting closer. Both of us lost our pregnancy weight. <laughs> and, uh, and we were looking good and feeling good. And I stayed a loyal customer to Beachbody, psyched. Everybody, everybody at school, I came back from maternity leave like better than I'd ever looked ever in my whole life. So everybody wanted to know what I was doing. And of course they bought it all from Beachbody.com because there wasn't a coaching opportunity. Um, but I knew, I sort of identified with you speaking to uh, your, you saw a mission for yourself and I'm like, oh yeah, I felt like there was something bigger in my life, something greater for me and, and I almost fell out of my chair. Well, I don't know, do you, uh, teachers get prospected for like everything <laughs> and every, get, well I was an elementary school teacher so I got every pampered shit, you know, you name it, I don't know name names, but you know, like I got every MLM gift and in in all these sweet moms like, you would be great. And so I was kind of open to the idea of making money, but I had a, a resistant husband who is also an elite coach. <laughs> yeah. Um, and when we were invited to go look at this business opportunity, he was like, I'm not going. <laughs> You're not going. He's like, oh yeah. I'm going by. <laughs> and uh, I flew by myself to the 
founders meeting, and I was like the only Beachbody customer that was there without their spouse, and he forever regrets that, so resistant husband. You know, trust your wives sometimes. Um, but yeah, I started off like super enthusiastic like everybody. I've been a coach for seven and a half years, so you can imagine. It's just time and consistency that has given me the opportunity to create really, really, really outrageous results. So, you know, dream big because all I wanted to do was be home with my kids and, and I, want, I wanted that same schedule, you know, I gotta be, you know, 7.30 and then, oh, I would do it, yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I wanted to be home when my kids were done. So that was that. But to answer this question about the budget, uh -huh. when I first started, um, I think that successful coaches, this is my opinion, I'm a seven and a half year coach, I mean six time elite, you might want to listen, you might not, I don't know, but I, I, I think that um, at minimum you should be drinking Shakeology, uh, ideally you have a challenge pack and you have that program, I'm like madly in love with 21 Day Fix right now, so I would keep doing it over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, so I know that Shakeology can be a struggle, but you have an opportunity to share Shakeology every single day. I mean, look at Elizabeth Hartke. This is, she's actually a 10-star diamond coach in my organization, and she has, um, you know, you just share it, and you can earn back your income. You know, talk to 10 people a day, set your goal. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to pay for Shakeology. Shakeology commissions are 30 bucks, you know? So you could be paying for your Shakeology with three auto ships. So, you know, I think at minimum you should be proof the product works and Shakeology is everything in our business. It's elite nutrition and um, we are trying to raise the bar with health and fitness and daily commitments so, and it's consistency. So you wanna make sure that you're doing that. And I'm so stoked to see all of you in here. This is crazy. I'm like. I feel like a new a new coach again, you know? Like, oh, this has been like the greatest Super Saturday ever. Thank you, Leadership Council. I'm so excited. Thank you, Monica. So at the least, make sure you're drinking your Shakeology and like Monica and Brandy mentioned, be a customer. So for our next question, and this comes from Rachel, it is, how many challenge groups do you have running a month? Are they open-ended? Are they program-specific? And what about when people are done with the group, but not with their program? And I think I'm gonna pass this over to you, Jamie. Well, hi everybody, I'm Jamie again. Um, so I, a little bit about my story, I'm a six-star diamond, just kind of as a lead. Um, and this week, which has been a bit week, but I started last September and was a full-time school counselor, elementary school counselor in Portland, Oregon. And was also waiting tables on the weekend for my whole teaching career. And uh, I saw my coach posting on Facebook about this great new job and I was about to start into a new school year where my schedule went seven days a week on the weekends working till 3 a.m. And I remember having this meltdown, uh, crying, feeling sorry for myself that that was gonna be my life for another year as my salary kept decreasing. And um, I was loved my job, I loved the kids that I was working with, but it was very, there was something missing. I always felt like there was a bigger calling, a bigger purpose, a light, you know, similar. But I didn't, so I got my yoga certification, I got my spin certification, I was, you know, liked painting, I was an outdoor um, leader. I just was always doing something. I, every, my friends were like, you're always so busy, you know, always so busy. But it was because I was lonely and sad and unfulfilled and looking for that thing to fill my heart and to fill my tank and, um, and, I had in that moment just you know crying on my closet floor. Um, I just well, I prayed and I like kind of threw it up to God and and found this. And it took a while for me to figure out what this would look like for me. And it took me finding my own path in this job and being authentic to who I am and what my what my heart is. Um, and from there, um, you know, have have found a, a dynamic, amazing team. My team's Team Wild Brain. Um, and, I, and, I, and I am so in love with this business. Um, and as of June of this year, I retired from public education and I moved down here in August and get to do this full time now and it's amazing. Um, and 
the future just you know continues to look brighter and brighter and and um, and it starts with setting those scary goals that Elizabeth talked about um, because I didn't know what it wasn't until Super Saturday I could see the potential and then it took me sitting down and deciding what I wanted it to be for me and then every day showing up and making that happen and part of that was running challenge groups and so I guess my message to you about challenge groups is you have to find what's going to be right for you as far as how many challenge groups you run. It can look so many different ways. Even when we were talking about this question last night at dinner, we all run challenge groups differently. Some have multiple running that start and stop, you know, every couple weeks they start. Some have ongoing that are open-ended. Some have, um, you know, just uh, specific one, program specific one every month. Um, some have multi-program that are running every, you know, just really changes um, for, I think you need to find something that's going to fit into your schedule and your life that you can do consistently because the, you, the non-negotiable is that you have a group to invite to. Um, you need to have, you know, our foundation of this is that we're supporting people and this is how we support people. Um, we support them in following and reaching their goals. The customer service of our business is by that accountability, the support, the relationships that are built. So whatever you want your challenge groups to look like, that's up to you. There's so you can pick the brain of you know five different coaches, and you're going to get five different ideas. Try them all. Throw throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks, and then just do it. I'm constantly you know like I'm even right now like oh maybe I'll try a different format this this month for my challenge group. I'm using I'm running one within my own ongoing accountability group that I've put graduates in. You know, and I you do I do free free groups once a month or once every other month too, and that changes. It really just depends on just continuing to, you know, try stuff for you and reinvent the wheel. If you've got something good going, like if it's not broke, don't fix it. But you can always keep trying something new and um, and whatever it is, though, make sure you do it well. So don't spread yourself too thin so that you're not giving that relationship building time, that support that the people need um, to really follow through on a program and, and get the results they need because Part of that, you know, some of the strongest coaches can come, you know, coaches come from everywhere, but a lot of coaches come from challenge groups because they become product advocates because they see what this does for their for their life. And so um, without, you know, if you're not in your challenge group, showing up every day, being proof the products work, checking in on people when they go MIA, texting them, calling them, private messaging them, you know, whatever it needs to take. If you're not doing your part, then, you know, that's your job as a coach is to make sure you're there to support them and whatever, meet them on their level. Um, and so make sure whatever you do for your challenge group is going to fit whatever pace or schedule you can do consistently and do well, or even do very well. Um, I think that was all the, okay. <laughs> Great answer. So there is no amount of challenge groups that you need to have for month. Just do and know that you can continue. That's actually one of the things I love most about this business is that you can continue to try things out. If it doesn't work, try something new without chasing every shiny object and being mindful of your time. So there's no right answer to that. So our next question comes from Rachel. How do you get your coaches started right? And in addition, see the importance of earning the Emerald rank. Ashley, I think you'd be great to answer this. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Uh, okay, first I just want to say that uh, I, I was just thinking as we were all sitting up here, you know, the message that I gave to our team this past week, and some of them are here, and I was thinking, you know, we are no different than you guys. It's just that we've been doing it maybe a little bit longer or maybe a little bit more consistently than some of you uh, as far as being elite. I'm a three-time elite coach, but I can tell you is that I have no nothing um, in my toolkit that is not uh, that is hidden from what, you're, what you know. You know exactly what I know. And they know, we all know the same thing. So making this a level playing field as we enter into the year, I just want to say that uh, I am so excited that you guys are here. But I want to ask, is there anybody that's here that's thinking about coaching that has not been a long-term product of the product? Okay, that was me. I did not know the product very well. I used it a little bit when I was training for a race. And then I signed up as a coach, and I did it primarily, I must say, shh, I did it as a business decision. 
I wanted extra income. I didn't, I wasn't a um, product of a challenge group. I didn't know what that was when I signed up. So if you're hesitant about that and you're not like Mr. or Mrs. like awesome challenge group runner, I confess I am not, then come on board, learn about the business. If that's what like, drives you, then do that. That's what drives me. I feel so inadequate sometimes when we're talking about challenge groups. So what I did as a leader, was I had amazing people over there who love rock the challenge groups. They're so good at it. And I'm like, all right, look, we'll be, we're, we're collaboratively. You guys run the challenge groups and then um, teach me how to do them and I will, uh, I will help you be better at, at growing your business, the business side of it. And so that's what I say, you know, you do not have to be perfect at one thing, at, at everything. Just figure out what your niche is and then come in and, fit, and then know that there are people that are going to be there to support you. So, speaking as the inadequate challenge runner, what as the awesome, I love mentoring people in business, uh, the, the business side of it, I will tell you what I think that works for me and my business, and I'm sure everybody else has a different um, way of starting their coaches, but I'll bring them in and I'll tell them, okay, let's talk about the reason why you started coaching and making sure that they really are someone that wants to earn income and not just be some, uh, and if they're like, oh, I really just want to work on my personal accountability and I want to uh, be a product of the product, and I'm like, awesome, we have challenge groups for you, jump in that, okay? But after that, if they're like, no, I actually want to earn a little bit of income and I want to refer, maybe, maybe help a couple people, or I have bigger goals, I want to earn five, three to five hundred dollars a month or higher, I, I know that that's somebody that I'm going to be working with in the business. So as long as you have that conversation, then you can go move forward. And I say, there, all right, we have three things we're going to be working as a team. And I want to explain to you that we're going to do three things. We're going to, number one, we're going to get your initial product paid back. Who, I, I don't know, but when I signed up, I want to get my product paid back. Did anybody else, when you signed up, raise your hand, just show me, did you want to get your product paid back? Because I actually asked this question before at Summit when I gave this talk, and I was surprised that like nobody really raised their hand, or maybe I just wasn't speaking clearly. But anyway, um, so that's cool because I want to get my money paid back. So I sh I think that's number one. Number two, we will, I am a huge success starters person. Success starters earn your first it, the first full um, three months that you're in the business. If you earn Success Club then you get to earn your free ticket to Summit. Okay, but by the way, even though those rewards and incentives might not rock everybody's world, the cool thing is you're actually earning income along the way to earn those trips. So for people like me that like the trips might not be like all that great, I'm like, oh, I can see the money though. Um, and uh, so, so I think that's very cool that Beachbody's figured that out, that there's like the fun rewards, but there's also like the income along the way. Then the third thing that we say is, we're gonna hit emeralds, okay? We're gonna do this together. And they're like, I don't know, we know what Emerald is. Uh, so I would, I'll tell you that Emerald is when your business starts. That's when you open up for business. Before that, you're retailing, and it's just that you decided to do it not at uh, Forever 21. You're doing it at, you know, with Beachbody Health and Fitness from your home or on your lunch break. Uh, I don't know, a lot of young people. I'm not young, so. Uh, so as far. As far as, I'll just give you a tactic that I do in my business to help people get their product feedback right away. Do you want me to tell that? You were just like, no, okay. um, All right, so I was telling these girls last night, and a lot of them know this anyway, but it was just fun to kind of chit chat and share these things. I was working with a, a, one of my coaches who's new in the business, finishing top, Carl's top 100 this month. She is, last month, I guess, or whatever the contest was. But she, she's been in the business four months, and she had not even had her Shakeology and her Pio delivered to her house. She's never tried the product before, before she made her first three to four sales. Made her first three to four sales within three hours after our GSR, doing this, exactly. Hi, mom, dad, best friend, people that are in your inner circle, really close, maybe just like seven to 10 people. I just started this new business. It's legit, I'm actually helping people with health and fitness. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. And this was her case, she didn't know what she was doing yet. But all I can tell you is that uh, I really need your support. There's this product called Shakeology, haven't tried it yet. It's being delivered to my house in like a couple days. Would you mind trying it out with me? All right, now, 
if you don't like it, I, I was told, and I know that I'm reading it right here, that you can get your money back within the first 30 days. Would you at least try it out and be one of my first testimonials? Whose best friend or sister or mom, I can tell you that wouldn't say, yeah, I'll help you. I mean, there are, I've actually done this probably with over 150 people in our organization in a tight period of time, and we had only one person, only one person did not get someone to say yes. And that one person asked two people, and we had only one person, only one person did not get someone to say yes. And that one person asked two people, and we figured out that she wasn't saying exactly that. Can I count on you? Can you help me out? So that little, little tidbit um, is really helpful. Again, it's just like, hey, can you help me out? I'm starting this new business. I'd like you to try this product with me for 30 days. And that, I, I just do work with Shakeology. Because when you start getting a new coach in the challenge packs within the first 48 hours, they don't know what all the challenge packs are. Just go with Shakeology. Okay, that's how I start out, and then as well as starting a challenge group right away. So that's it. Thank you. So definitely start by knowing what your goals are and you're going from there. All right, so the next question comes from Tamara again. Have you been able to turn initial no's from friends, family, into future yeses, and how? Meredith, would you like to take this one? As an add-on, can you tell us how you ended up top 14 in the company in a year's time? <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so I went to my <laughs> Um, yeah, so I went to my first Super Saturday about a year ago. Um, I signed up in September of um, 2013, and I signed up because I found my coach on Instagram. I don't even know what I was doing. I was scrolling around, laying on the couch, and I found this girl, and she was talking about um, 25 minutes of fitness and having an opportunity to earn income as a coach. And uh, I don't know how many of you are fitness professionals. Anybody already teaching yoga, spin, something? Yeah. So that was my case. I was teaching 20 yoga classes a week for six years, just to make, make ends meet. I'm 38. I have no retirement. <laughs> I was very humble. But I really, um, I love what I do. I love helping people. And I was also just kind of, I was, loving nutrition and helping people with their fitness and wellness and I wasn't really getting financially rewarded for it and I kept saying to myself like it's okay it'll, that'll happen it'll come but at the same time as I was teaching so much I had zero energy to do a workout myself so my weight wasn't where I wanted it my body wasn't where I wanted it I felt somewhat hypocritical that I was helping people with their nutrition and fitness, but yeah, I wasn't at my goals. And so I answered this girl's reply. Her name is Amy Silverman. And she's like, pretty awesome. So if you're one of her coaches or considering signing up with her, you should. Um, so I answered her reply or her, her thing on Instagram and um, found out it was a Beachbody thing. And I had actually done some Beachbody programs eight years back. I bought Turbo Jam on, on an infomercial. It was my first infomercial purchase. And I remember laughing at myself at 1.30 in the morning with my Visa card going, oh my gosh, I can not believe it. I'm going to QVC. Okay, so that's how it all began. And I remember back then they had um, message boards and there were coaches helping people. And at the time I had a completely different industry. I was working in the entertainment industry, um, doing music production stuff. And uh, I wanted to help people. And the industry I was in was a little bit... I don't know, dirty in ways. There was a lot of like drugs and alcohol and stuff that went around me, and I didn't really know how to do what I wanted to do. So I thought the message board thing sounded pretty cool, but did never really do it because I didn't have a coach at the time that showed me that it's something anyone can do. And so when I got Amy's um, thing and I found out it was Beach Body, I was like, cool. I want to do T25. I like Beach Body. I got 25 minutes to sweat. And I want to be a coach because I always thought it was cool. I really didn't think there was any money in it, I'll be honest. Um, so I signed up, and um, she gave me the 
seven day quick start and started doing three vital behaviors and inviting people in for the opportunity to do the challenge with me, made a couple bucks and I was like, ooh, this is pretty cool. My supplemental income coming in for my very humble yoga pay. Mm -hmm. And um, that was kind of how it kicked off. And about three months in, I went on the cruise you guys saw on uh, the slides today, but go on the cruise. I took one of my coaches with me and it's really what lit our fire because we met so many amazing people, people just like you, people just like me. And I was like, okay, wait, they're making six figures, seven figures, and uh, what the hell are they doing? They're just sharing these programs that they love and drinking Shakeology, like, I can do that. So um, so that was that. I had a humbling moment uh, coming into last year where I um, actually got paralyzed for a, a while. I lost complete motor function in my left leg and foot, and I uh, had to get back surgery, and so it was about maybe five months into coaching and I was laying on my back not knowing if I'd ever teach yoga again or um, or anything. And so that was kind of my determining moment where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do something really big. I'm gonna take all my setbacks and turn them into comebacks. And um, I used it as a launching pad to build my career. And so I laid on my back and I reached out to people and um, invited them to be a coach. <laughs> and to start doing the challenges and I was just very honest with it and said, hey, you guys are going to work out and uh, I'm going to be meditating while you're doing that. <laughs> and, uh, and that was that. And then next thing you know, I was five star down in the league, number 14 in the company. And I'm one 15 months into my business and a year after my first Super Saturday, I'm up talking to you. So I'm a little nervous, a little shaky and I'm not usually so. I, I don't know, that's pretty cool. So thanks, and I hope I didn't let my throat chakra go too far because it gets a little hyperactive. Um, I like to talk. Okay, so the question was, <laughs> have I been able to turn no's into yeses? Well, number 14 in the cold Okay, no. Um, family and friends. Okay, this is a great question. So in the end, this is all about time and consistency. And you know, one of the things three one of the things my coach told me is get very consistent on social media and share your journey in a very authentic way. Really discover what your brand is. You know, you don't need to brand beach body, you don't need to be what your coach is, you just need to share your journey and people are organically going to want to do it. So, you know, there are people I reached out to when I first started coaching that I was like, wow. This person would make an amazing coach. They should be coaching. They've got to do this. Actually, my diamond right over here, she told me at dinner, what, two weeks ago, she was like, dude, when you first told me about that, I was like, mm, I don't want to do that. <laughs> right? Well, now she's diamond coach. So, yeah, did she sign up right away? No. Um, I gave her a couple tools. You know, I gave her like a success magazine. I gave her like some Shakeology. But what ended up happening is she just watched my journey. She saw me actually going on trips and becoming financially free and like all these things happening. So people come around, you know, same thing with my boyfriend, you know, I was with this dude for eight years and you know, I was always doing weird stuff, cleansing, yoga things, humming, you know, whatever. And I never asked him to hum or drink juice with me. I just let him watch me do it. And he didn't come around right away, you know. We watched, um, oh, this is my throat chakra. See, I talk too much. So we watched this movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Has anybody seen that? That's a good movie. So, you know, after about five years of me cleansing, he watched he watched that movie, and he's like, I'm going to do a cleanse with you. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of how it was with Shakeology and Beachbody. He had to watch me for a year. He had to watch me work out for a year and get results. He had to watch me drink the Kool-Aid and have all this, like, amazing stuff happen, get my financial freedom award and, you know, and be able to become more independent. And, um, and then he started drinking the Kool-Aid and now he looks amazing. <laughs> actually, I actually split up with him, but we're kind of still dating, but he looks better. <laughs> he looks better than he ever did. So it makes it kind of hard because he's doing P90 after and drinking the shit. He looks good. Yeah. So we're kind of still dating. Everyone will probably get back together. People will come around, but you have to be consistent. You have to give them time. Um, don't push people. People, I just put something up. I'm, I'm doing this whole girl boss thing on my Instagram. Um, what do you call it? On my Facebook. 
And I put this thing up today, likers are gonna like, haters gonna hate. The busy girl boss or man boss does not have time to deal with the haters. You are here to inspire people and help people, instill them and empower them with tools for success. So don't worry about other people. People are gonna judge you no matter what you do. So you might as well do it, right? So, so just know people are gonna come around. The people that wanna come around are gonna come around and the people that don't, it's okay. It's okay. So that's it. Um, thanks for listening. That was awesome. I hope you all were taking notes. Uh, but I have a question. One final question. Um, oh wait. Talk about it when you talk about it. Okay. Sorry. Rachel asked, what are the top five things to do every day for new coaches versus Emerald slash Ruby coaches versus Diamond coaches? And this is a question I'm going to pose to everybody on the panel. I'm going to start with Keishan and just giving your very best. Well, she asked for top five, but just give your, your, your secret sauce. Take note. <laughs> Well, first of all, I hope you guys are starting to see this common thread um, between the answers up here. And really, it just boils down to sharing, being willing to share your story. Um, so to answer this question, one thing that we recently um, were trained on at corporate, which probably should have been a, oh, duh, but it was really an aha moment for us all. And that was from Brigitte Linford, who is our CEO award recipient and 15-star uh, diamond 2013-2014 elite coach. And she says that if this business was split into two entities, one being the recruiting and two being the team leading, she, as a 15-star diamond, spends 50% of her day recruiting and 50% of her day leading as a 15-star diamond. So again, we started thinking, okay, well, there's no real science behind this, but let's think this through. So if that's a 15-star diamond, then a brand new coach should obviously be spending 100% of their time on the recruiting. And what I mean by that is obviously sharing your story. That's uh, inviting to, the, to your challenge groups, to the business, um, anything that involves adding directly to your business. And then obviously you have no team to lead, so 0% of your time would be leading. Okay, so then as a diamond coach, and this is where it often starts to flip-flop, even as a diamond coach, you should be spending 80% of your day recruiting, 80%, and 20% of your day should be leading. And again, I mentioned that this is where it starts to flip-flop, even at Emerald I see sometimes, because we get so excited, you know, that's the fun part, we finally have someone underneath us, let's lead them, but seriously, you have to spend 80% of your time recruiting and 20% of your time leading, even as a diamond. And so as a two-star diamond, a premier coach, still 70% of your day, 70% of your day should be spent recruiting and 30 on leading your team. And even as a five-star diamond elite coach, you should be spending 60% of your day recruiting and 40% of your day leading your team. And so we're going to just pass the mic down. What are some of your top things that a new coach or even a diamond above coach should do? I think that they're kind of going to be similar. So actually, I'll pass the mic to you first. OK, so I, I think that's awesome. I love that. And I, again, it's, it's recruiting and selling, working with your challenge groups. All of that stuff leads to your own business and then the other stuff was team. So, I, I would say the, no, the number one thing that I tell my new coaches to do is uh, get, we want to get confidence early. So it's action, taking action. And, and picking up the phone is my favorite thing unless you can see somebody face to face. Um, inviting them to your challenge group or to, for, to be a product of the product using Shakeology or the business. And then I would say close on the heels of that, if not even first, would be personal development. Personal development every day. I spend t my time in the morning reading, and then I do a little writing. And then I would say also drive your day. Your day should be driven by a schedule, okay? Even if it's loose, you know, make sure that that day has a schedule. And those goals that, that uh, Jeff was talking about, we need to have the, the goals for the year. Pick up those goals every day and review them. So the, the, those things, so I would say personal development, making sure that you're uh, inviting people, and then making sure that you're reviewing your goals and having a schedule for the day. 
Um, I would say consistency is probably number one for me. It's something that um, when I signed up day one, I knew that I was going to do something with this, and I started dreaming for the first time in my life. Um, wow, I mean, if I could earn income doing this, that would be really great. You know, our boys are getting bigger, and I need, I need grocery money, or you know. So it's like setting attainable goals and sticking to them, being consistent. And I realized there are 230,000 Beachbody coaches. If I'm not consistent, someone's going to go find somebody else because you can pick any anyone out. There is, but there's still opportunity for us in this. So I'm not going to let a customer go find another coach. I'm going to take care of them, and I'm going to draw them into my family, and I'm going to show them what it means to be consistent and to be able to live a life of freedom. Um, we have six-figure earners up here. I um, hit a year and a half into my business, and I was a six-figure earner. And I'm, I'm not on a big, long powerhouse lake of upline coaches just constantly dropping. That's something that... I built because I was consistent and just sharing my journey. So you can do it too. And that's just that's my start of consistency. Hi again. <laughs> <laughs> so with three vital behaviors, right? We all know those. Um, they really are the backbone of everything and um, personal development. So really, do it for you. Because if you're getting up every day to do your fitness and nutrition for you and to do your personal development from you, you know, there's a saying like, those who bring um, sunshine into their own lives can't help but share it with others, or those that bring sunshine into other lives can't keep it from themselves, or something like that. But the um, point is, like, you know, it's, you're doing it for you, you got to take care of you, and um, everything else will fall into line in time. Um, you know, one of the things that maybe I didn't mention was how overwhelmed I got at about two weeks in, right? Those of you that are near coaches probably know like two weeks in, it's like, oh my gosh. I actually called my coach up and I was like, I don't, what did you get me into? I don't, I don't, I don't want all this. But, um, you know, she, she talked me off the ledge. But it goes back to this question, which is you really need to believe in yourself and you've got to treat this like a million dollar business, a million dollar opportunity. And um, you've got to do it because you're doing it for you, number one, and taking care of your health and well-being. Um, but as long as you're doing it for you and you uh, pay it forward and you believe in yourself, uh, you will do really well. Just give time. So I'm going to say ditto. <laughs> uh, all of that. Having a list, your power hour, making sure you do it every day, living and leading from your heart, and just really authentically caring about people, and that includes yourself, um, but then doing it publicly. So the last question is, how do you find business builders? And I'm gonna just include that in my answer because you don't know who's a business builder. You're never gonna know if you're gonna sign on a rock star coach. I had, of my coaches in November, there were two that I was like, these girls are gonna be five in a one, and they're both inactive. <laughs> so, um, but the one that said, I just want to drink Shakeology, is one time in three weeks. So, you never know. But you need to continue to always, always, always share about this job, my business, my team, um, and gush about it. I mean, if you're not a gusher, find some way to share. But people are attracted to positivity and energy and exuberance because we're lacking that in our normal lives a lot. And when you go to a normal, also stay out of your newsfeed, period, end of story. Don't go to your Facebook, just stay out of it. But if you do scroll down an average person, non-coach, Facebook newsfeed, it's negativity, negativity, negativity. So you are an ambassador of positivity, which is what people need. It's what is that, that spark that lights a fire of change in your life. Um, and so that's kind of your torch you get to carry forth. Um, and by doing that, by talking about, you don't need to talk about, I don't ever even, I barely reference Beachbody on Facebook. I rarely even say the word Beachbody. Um, now I will, as I've built up that consistency and that trust with my Facebook or Instagram people, they know that it's Beachbody. But in the beginning, I made it, I made it impossible for them to find out what I was doing without talking to me. That was by design because I wanted the chance to build a relationship with them. I wanted the chance to talk to them. If they saw Beachbody, which what I would have done, I would have Googled Beachbody. And 
made my own conclusions. If I hadn't talked to my coach and heard her story, I wouldn't have signed up. I know that. So, but because she was sharing with so much passion and joy and excitement, and I could feel the hope in her posts, you know, it was contagious. So by consistently doing that, you will consistently draw people to you and grow your team. And you don't know who's a business builder and who's not. But by sharing your story and sharing the business opportunity, um, that was something I didn't do at first. I didn't go straight for the business opportunity. I thought it all had to come through challenge groups first. But I was a business opportunity coach. I would have probably never done a challenge group because I was not. But whatever. <laughs> like I. But there are so many different ways. But by sharing with joy and consistency. So. Sorry. Ooh, I told you we were in for a treat. Can we please give them a round of applause? Um, you all are truly the heartbeat that helps this, this company continue to grow. So thank you for everything you guys do and what you will do. So, so appreciative. So before we um, lift up our chairs to the side of the wall and stack the five or ten to work out, we're going to do the tw new 21 Day Fix Extreme Workout, um, I just kind of want to share a few things. First thing is, guys, strap on your seatbelt. Seriously. You heard with the digital announcement that we are just, we're going places. We are a billion dollar company, a billion dollar startup company, and, and we're doing that solely in the US, and we absolutely have plans of going international soon. So I'm just saying that you're not here by coincidence or chance, you're absolutely here, you're meant to be here, and strap on your seatbelt because we're in for a fantastic ride. So last year we ended, uh, with just over 235,000 coaches, 199 elite coaches, 74 premier coaches. And, and really, I share that just to let you know that these ladies, they are truly in the top 10th percent of this company. And they are no different than any one of you. They are no different. They're moms, they're wives, they have day jobs. They're no different than you. So. Um, after you register for the cruise and get your teams ready for Cup, by the way, who will be participating in Cup? That's what I'm talking. I need some more hands, though. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So before, make sure you guys go. Set up these goals. Go for that title. You know, it's truly not about if you fall short. But it's about the person you become in pursuit of achieving that goal. How many more conversations you started? How many more potential lives you'll save and change? So go for that title. So um, after you get finished registering for the cruise and registering to participate in the cup, um, make sure that you hit elite. <laughs> hit elite, hit premier, go for the gut so. Um, the reason why I say that, sorry guys, just want to make sure I get my stats right, is because it's a huge confidence boost for you and your team. A huge confidence boost. And we have a goal guide that would seriously help you map out how to achieve it. But really, I think that after hearing these questions, or these answers, it really boils down to one thing. And that's sharing. Being willing to share your story like the first time you shared it. No matter how messy or how boring you think your life is, just share. So Success Club is a great, great tool to track how many lives you save. And if you help three people every month with the challenge pack and encourage your teams to help by sharing their story, three people every month, you too can be up here. You are no different than those five ladies that were here. So. Um, Again, nothing makes you different. They're moms, they're wives. This is 2015. This is a great platform for you to start fresh, for you to set audacious goals, for you to dream big and go big. I'm really, really pumped, but I want to know who's with me. Who's setting audacious goals? Who will be premier? Who will be a Thank you all so much for what you guys do. You are also the heartbeat in which makes this company continue to grow. So if we're ready to do the workout, we're all going to...